Apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Good to see you again, and welcome back to the show. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you find everybody safe, healthy, and in good spirits. Today we're going to talk about, now this is kind of crazy, I know, we we'll to get into it. Scientists found the oldest sperm, the oldest sperm. But before we get to that one, let's, let's check out a couple more quick, weird, but true stories. We'll move on to that sperm story. Unbelievable. This is this is about an Alaskan dentist. There's some crazy stuff. And uh, right now he's definitely going to jail. An Alaskan dentist who pulled an unconscious, unconscious patient's tooth while riding a hoverboard. Hoverboard, hoverboard, however you want to call it. He was sentenced to 12 years behind bars. This guy was hit with the prison stretch Monday in Anchorage for crimes that range from scooting snafu, from the scooting snafu to Medicaid fraud and extracting a patient's teeth without their permission. So here's just another crazy thing where you got a dentist. I mean, we all go to dentist, hopefully, you know, and um, you know, you trust these people. You trust your doctor, you trust your dentist. Here's this dentist that freaking puts his patient out and decides to drive a hoverboard around and yank his tooth out. Come on, what, what, what kind of craziness is this? Where's your head, you know? This guy's definitely lunatic, definitely decides, definitely deserves to go behind bars. He's pulling out people's teeth without permission. He's doing Medicaid for it, all this kind of stuff, man. Crazy, crazy. And you know, you heard about Medicaid for about, about these doctors, whatever, doing Medicaid stuff and, you know, scamming money. But what's with the freaking hoverboard? What, what are you doing? What, what do you get your kicks out of that? Yeah, yeah, let me go around on a hoverboard, pull your teeth out, yank it out, get me on video, whatever. Crazy. That's an Alaska dentist for you. Here's a quick one too that, crazy. You ever go somewhere and drop your phone? Well, this, this guy in Malaysia, he lost his cell phone. near a jungle, right? Now, let me read this story to you. A Malaysian who lost his cell phone near a jungle got the, got the phone back, complete with selfies apparently shot by a monkey. How crazy is that? This guy posted images of the primate pictures along with the caption, Sometime, something, you might, something you might see once in a century. So how crazy is that? This guy actually dropped his phone near the jungle, whatever, in, in Malaysia, Malaysia. A monkey picked it up, started taking pictures of himself of it. And then he got his phone back with these selfies in it. Crazy, right? You will be like to see those photos. I, I, I didn't, I, imagine it would have been one of them going around taking pictures of everybody. Smart. Monkeys are smart. All right, so I got this one here about the oldest sperm in the world found, okay? I didn't even think it lived that long. This is how the story goes, all right? These microscopic swimmers are survivors. Scientists discovered the oldest sperm ever recorded. Now, now listen to this. This is like crazy. This is how many years ago. Dating back nearly a hundred million years, it was encased in amber. Yeah, I said a hundred million years. The fossilized mollusk spunk was unearthed by an international team of palatalists in Myanmar. Myanmar, I don't know, beating out the previous record of a fifty million year old worm sperm. How freaking crazy is that? You know, and, and, and there's a lot of questions got to be answered here. Like, were they looking for it? Did they stumble upon this? What do you mean it was encased in amber? When they pulled it out, did one of them say, oh, this looks like sperm. Let's test it and see if it's sperm. How do they figure these things out? Like, you know, 
are they making this stuff up? And it just it just makes you want to like, what do you believe? Like, what what actually is true? They're saying a hundred million years the sperm was from. How do you how do you figure this stuff? How do how do you you know? I know you're a scientist, but what is there some kind of uh, test that you put in and say, oh yeah, this is sperm? It's like it's like crazy. Let me know what you think. I mean, is this possible? That I mean, does anybody know anything about this? Any scientists out there can tell me how you figure out a hundred million years sperm? The sperm. How do you know to look for it? What are you looking for? What, what the story is? And then you got a freaking dentist going around a hoverboard pulling out freaking teeth out of people's heads. Crazy, crazy stuff. But that's why these are weird but true stories. You know what I'm saying? So I find them. I read them to you. This one with the sperm is really kind of crazy. And now what are you going to do with it? Are you going to preserve it? Put it in a freaking museum somewhere? What are you going to do with it? Well, I, I don't understand. Anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you remember, don't forget, hit that thumbs up on the way out. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you don't next time I call the video. And be safe. Be healthy. Until next time, take care of yourself. I'll see you soon.